Don't think you can eat keto on the cheap? I've got five ways to keep you on track with your budget. Number one, beef, chicken, and pork. Now, what I mean by beef, I'm talking about ground beef, even frozen burger patties. You don't need to eat steak. We all want to eat steak, but you don't need to. Take it from me. I eat mostly ground beef patties. I love it. I love ground beef. I have my share of steak too, but if I was living on a very tight keto budget, I would eat ground beef, chicken. I would go with chicken thighs, the bone-in skin on. They're the cheapest and the most tasty. There's also pork. Now, we don't eat a lot of pork in our house, but pork loin and all of those things are usually very, very cheap. Number two, eggs. You can get dozens and dozens of eggs for very little money. Now, I know in recent years, eggs have been more expensive, just like everything else. But in our house, we go through about 10 to 12 dozen eggs every two weeks. So that's about 20 to 24 dozen eggs a month. So we try to get them as cheaply as we can. Don't worry about the cage-free, free-range, all of that stuff. Because if you can't afford it, the normal grocery store branded eggs are going to be just fine. Not to mention you can boil them, scramble them, do everything you need with them. They make a perfect snack, and they're very cheap and affordable. Now, number three... This may be the most expensive expense out of all of these realistically, but I'm talking about butter. You want to get real butter, not margarine, not parquet, none of that stuff. You want to get real sticks of butter. I get my butter from Costco, which is like $2.89 a pound. You get four bricks for like 11 bucks or something like that. Butter is going to go a long way for you. I put butter in my coffee. I know I like butter in my eggs, butter in my burgers. So we'd use a lot of butter. Butter is far more expensive than margarine. Yes. But the health benefits of butter over margarine, you can't put a price on that. Number four, frozen vegetables. Now I like frozen vegetables over fresh because I often forget the fresh ones are in the fridge and they go bad fast. And the frozen vegetables are flash frozen quickly. By the time you get them, they're going to be fresher and they stay much longer in the freezer. So you can get them for like 99 cents or $1.50 a package. So you can get your broccoli, your Brussels sprouts, you can get whatever it is that you need and they're going to stay fresher longer in the freezer. Number five isn't a specific ingredient or a specific item but it's what you want to avoid to stay on budget. And that's anything keto branded. Now, that could be snack bars, cereals, breads, anything of that. It's all super expensive. Now, if you're a person that needs this to be successful or to stay on track and you can fit it into your budget, by all means, you are living your life and you know what's best for you. I'm not going to be keto police on this. But... I know when we went keto back in 2016, we started going out and buying all the almond flours, the coconut flours, anything and everything that we could find that we could use to make all of these special recipes, and it costs so much money. This is going to blow your budget. So if you can avoid going out and buying keto branded items, you're going to be far better off. Do you want a bonus thing? Okay, bonus thing. Make your coffee at home. If you like me and you love coffee, make it at home. Don't go to Starbucks. Don't stop in at Dunkin'. Just make it at home. Find coffee that you like. Get a cheap coffee maker. You're going to go a long way. Put a little bit of butter in if you like. Whatever it is you need. Some cream, some heavy cream. That'll be a little expensive, but I think it's worth it. And will save you money in the long run if you're not going out to get coffee. If you like these kinds of videos, please do me a favor. Hit the thumbs up. Share it with your friends, subscribe, and we'll see you next time.